So today I want to make a video and talk a little bit about the observer design pattern and specifically how you can do this in Java with their uh, built-in uh, classes. So Java has an observable class that you can extend and they also have an observer interface that you can uh, implement on objects and this makes it very easy to implement the observer pattern in Java. Um, so what this actually is is just a way of notifying classes back and forth when uh, well specifically you want to have one class that you want to notify other classes when it changes. So it's kind of a mini to one relationship where you have one class that that is going to be doing the changing and then it's going to update many other classes that it has updated or changed. And um, one example of this is in GUI application programming where you maybe have some kind of um, document or tree structure that has child nodes and the parent nodes need to notify the child nodes that they need to re-render. Um, so for this example we're, we're going to create a um, a, a actual uh, example that's going to be based on fish and we're going to have a class called tropical fish and tropical fish is going to be fed by a fish feeder so the fish feeder is going to be the observable and the tropical fish is going to be the observer so we're going to implement implement observer and this observer is going to observe the observable class. So we're basically going to feed the fish and the fish are going to get notified when they get fed. So um, there's a unimplemented method and there's just one, it's called update and it passes the observable plus an object. And what we're going to actually do is pass an object that uh, might have a message on it. But for now, we'll just do this and We'll just do a sys out here, and um, what I'm going to type in here, I'm going to give this a private uh, string name, and then we're going to add some getters and setters, and maybe a, um, a constructor method. So I'm going to go ahead and create getters and setters for the name. Okay, and then in the source, I'm also going to do... Um, probably a two string because I'm going to print this out and finally we're going to do a um, constructor using fields just to make our lives easier here I just want to be able to do this so that we can easily instantiate this and so what we're going to do here when it gets fed we're going to say the fish um, was just fed. Okay, so I'm going to make a new package here and we're going to call this package uh, observers just to keep all this stuff together apart from the other week 11 stuff. Yes. Alright, so the next class I'm going to make is going to be a um, fish uh, feeder and I'm going to extend observable observable we're going to extend that not it's not a it's not a uh, interface that we're implementing we're actually extending a class and this gives us a lot of methods on here so um, we're only going to do the basics here but there are other things that are in this observable class we're extending but first I'm just going to create a method called public void uh, feed the fish and I'll say int um, let's just do let's just do no arguments first we'll add some stuff later I'm going to say set changed this will set that we just have changed the state and then we're going to say notify observers void and when that'll not pass uh, an argument in there's a different notify observers you can see we're going to do this next but first of all we're, we're not going to do that method okay so that's fine this is good we're going to uh, this is just like the plumbing and this is very simple so we're going to change this later though 
Um, so the next class we're going to create is the fish feeder uh, runner, or let's actually let's call this fishbowl uh, fishbowl runner maybe. Just like it, it's a method or it's a class that's going to control all of this stuff. Okay, so probably what we're going to start out doing is having a list of tribal fish. Uh, that's a Java util list. Uh, the type will be tropical fish. So we're gonna call these fishies. Uh, this will just be an array list. That's fine. And I'm gonna start adding some fish. Um, let's call the first tropical fish uh, Inky. And let's call the second one uh, Blinky. Uh, how about I spell it right? Okay, Blinky. And let's do one more tropical fish. And we'll call him Slinky. Okay, or her, I don't know. Um, okay. Fish feeder, we've got this fish feeder, and what we're going to do is kind of add the fish to the fish feeder because the fish, the, the fish bowl has a fish feeder, and then there are multiple fish in the fish bowl, right? And the fish feeder needs to know that it has observers. So we're going to loop through the tropical fish and the fishies. This is just um, collection shorthand. So the fish feeder dot add observer is what we're going to do. And because the fish implement this observer class or observer interface, that means that we can pass them in here as an observer. So add observer just takes an whoops uh, I wanted to see add observer you can see it just takes an observer so because our fish implement that interface that means we can pass them in here okay so we'll say fish and now there are three fish being observed by this fish feeder and let's say the fish feeder dot uh, feed the fish so we added a method on here called feed the fish and I think what we'll see now is that it should print some stuff out because our, our fish, when they get updated, they should be printing things out. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to put a note here that says we are feeding the fish. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. I'm going to run as Java application. Yeah. So it happened instantaneously. Unfortunately, we didn't put a wait or anything in, but. Um, we immediately created these three fish inside of this array here. This is just to help us manage this stuff. And um, then we create a fish feeder. We added all those fish as observers. And then finally we fed the fish. All the fish were notified. And this update code ran on each fish because our observable is called notify observers. So now there's this, there's this one other thing in... Um, uh, update so we get to actually pass a message in here um, and I think what we're going to do is create a custom message just so you can see how this is done so we'll create a new um, class and we'll call it the fish uh, feeder message and I'm going to do just have this be a plain uh, class and I think what we'll do is we'll say public int uh, quantity of food so we can kind of pass th this is just kind of to show you that you can pass data down in here so we're gonna say fish feeder message quantity of food and um, in this feed the fish we're going to have to say int um, uh, quantity of food and we'll create this new message fish feeder message uh, 
uh, quantity of food. And then our observers, we're going to notify them with this message. Okay, so our fishbowl runner, it, it's actually going to take um, an integer now. So let's feed them, let's feed them five pieces of food. How about that? Um, sounds good. Okay, so now this object is going to be not null. We're going to get some data in here, and the problem is we don't know what type it is. So we're going to have to do a little uh, checking here. We'll say if, um, and let's just call this message, and we'll call this the observable, observable. Okay. Uh, if message does not equal null, and uh, message is an instance of fish feeder message. So what we're doing here is a check, because if it's null, uh, it's going to blow up here. And if it's not the right kind of message, it's also going to blow up, because we're going to do a cast. So we're going to say fish feeder message. Um, the message equals a fish feeder message. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm running out of names here. Um, and what we're going to say here is, so obviously if it's a fish feeder message, that means the fish feeder must have passed this down, and we are going to say, um, let's change this, we're going to change this to a printf, and I'm going to say, uh, so we're going to do this formatting, this will be the string, the name. And then we'll say uh, the number. And we'll say get name. And um, the message dot quantity of food. So printf, it's just formatting this. That percent s is going to be the name. And then the message dot quantity of food is going to be this part. And we will see uh, that the the message prints out um, based on what we passed down into the observer. So everything looks like it's wired up correctly now. Let's go ahead and run this again. Okay, run as Java application. Oh, we have to do one more thing here. New line. Okay, so now we see the first fish was fed five pieces of food, the second fish, and the third fish. Now, of course, they're all going to say five pieces of food because we passed this data down, and then to each observer, it's going to pass the exact same message. Um, so we can do we can do different stuff here. Um, the 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 fish can handle these differently. You know, we can pass this implements observer, so we can have other um, we can have these observing other classes too, and it can check the type of the message here and do different stuff based on that. So you can get very sophisticated with this, you can get very flexible with it. This is just a kind of basic example of uh, implementing the observer um, design pattern in Java. So thanks for watching.